Hello, my name is Evan Page, and this is the Axle Pack. The Axle Pack is an ergonomic school backpack for kids that appropriately distributes weight. Through consumer research, I found that doctors say that students should only carry about 10% of their body weight in their backpacks. However, the majority of students carry heavy backpacks weighing as much as 25% of their body weight. As we see, the problem is backpacks are getting bigger and bigger. However, the solution isn't as easy as just taking items out. Most of these items include school supplies, items from extracurricular activities, and personal items. Based on the research and insights, I developed my design criteria. For one, the backpack must distribute weight appropriately along the shoulders and hips. Two, it must be adjustable to fit children between the ages of 10 to 15, which is typical middle school range. Three, it must alleviate stress from added weight. And four, it must still be able to hold all of the student's essential items. So through my product research, I observed conventional backpacks and saw that the majority of the weight rests on the user's spine, which leads to long-term back pain. In creating my first prototype, I was able to observe that the majority of the weight from this prototype rests on the user's shoulders and hips where it can be appropriately balanced. For my first prototype, went with an axial system, which allows the majority of the weight to rest on the user's shoulders and hips where it can be appropriately balanced. However, in my prototype testing, I learned that although the backpack feels more balanced to many of the students, it was also harder and more unusual to walk around in. This led me to my second prototype, which based on the feedback, keeping the form in mind, a new yet similar approach to the backpack's form was taken. I also included key features from hiking backpacks, such as the hip belt that I would incorporate to maximize support. Then I changed the name to Axle Pack, which is a more kid-friendly name that I thought would appeal more towards my target market. So some of the main features of the backpack are, of course, the side compartments, which are added to compartments for smaller items that allow the user to reduce the weight on the main compartment and act as a hip belt to balance the payload on the hips of the user. Second is the water bottle pouch, which is essentially a stretchable side pouch for storing water bottles and other smaller equipment. And then lastly is the collapsible sports bag. So this would be a storable collapsible bag for dirty clothes, small equipment, or any additional items that might need to be kept separately. This would also be found in a hidden compartment towards the bottom of the bag. So going into the student experience, I created a storyboard to help users get a better understanding of how the backpack works. So here we have Brendan, who is a sixth grader. Here we see Brendan loading up his backpack and switching out from his conventional backpack to the axle pack. Then Brendan clips the hip belt and adjusts the straps and the shoulder clips to his liking for a more secure fit. Then Brendan is ready to go, feeling more secure and lightweight in the axle pack. When Brendan enters class, he arrives at his desk and pulls out his necessary books from the main compartment. Then during the course of the class, if he forgets anything like his pencils, he can easily grab them out of the side compartment without even looking. And although Brendan's next class is on the other side of the building, he doesn't have to worry about stopping at his locker since he can carry all his items at once without worrying about added stress or fatigue. Then after a long day of school, Brendan gets home and rather than taking off his backpack to access his front pocket, he simply reaches in the side compartment and quickly grabs his keys. Moving on to the material aspect of the backpack, we have ripstop polyester, which is a thin and flexible yet strong material which will be used for the main and side compartments of the backpack. Next we have polyester which is also light, durable, and strong material for the bottom and any other areas that need reinforcing. Polylycra which is an elastic, lightweight, and strong material for the water bottle pocket. And lastly we have polypropylene which is a type of plastic that will be used for the hardware of the backpack such as zippers, sliders, and buckles. Going into the design development, I went through multiple iterations that played on various styles and part placements for the bag, which led me to the two designs that will lead me to the final product that you see here. Along with the final product, we have additional features that were designed into the backpack. From left to right, we have the top loading zipper, which allows for easier access to the main compartment. 
the extendable water bottle pocket for various size items, the main zipper, which was moved to the top for easier access, card holder pockets, which are created via bar tack stitches, front strap loops, which allow students to attach various items on the front of the backpack, a bottom zipper, which holds the collapsible sports bag, reflective material incorporated on the front of the backpack, and a revised top loop handle for carrying and hanging. So showing how the axle pack balances and distributes weight based on research from a typical middle school supply list, the student would have about 20 pounds worth of supplies in their backpack on a given day. As you can see on the image of the student on the right, there's a comprehensive breakdown of the various items that would be stored in each of these parts. With the front pocket holding 15% of the weight, carrying sneakers or clothes, the main compartment holding 35% of the weight, carrying bigger items such as notebooks, folders, books, and a laptop or tablet, and the side compartments, which account for half of the weight being balanced on each side of the user, which could be carrying anything from pencils, ID cards, keys, etc. Going further into the weight breakdown, we see on a conventional backpack, all the weight is centered in one place, which puts a lot of the stress on the spine. With my first Axial backpack prototype, I created a way where all of the weight would be placed on the shoulders and hips, which puts no stress on the spine and balances the weight on the low bearing areas of the body. Then in the final Axial pack, we have all the weight being balanced and displaced across multiple parts of the body, which allow less stress to be put on the spine and all other areas that have very minimal weight. Another key feature of the backpack is the inside organizer, which essentially allows the bigger and heavier items to be placed closer to the back to reduce hanging weight that leads to added stress and injury on the back. Here are the technical considerations and orthographics, which show the backpack having an overall size of 15 by 18 and more detailed orthographic showing the overall dimensions of not only the top side and bottom, but the side pocket which would be seven inches by 11 inches. Going into the cost, after breaking down all the materials that would be used in the backpack, it comes to $16.50. After adding the cost of labor to the materials cost, we now have a factory cost of $21.45. Then after shipping and tariff fees, we now have a landing cost of $36.83, which allows the axle pack to come to a wholesale cost of approximately $50, and be sold at an MSRP of $99.99. So for my primary market, I aim to market to parents who have middle school students, are middle class and up, and are actively concerned about their child's health and well-being. My secondary market is students who are in middle school and are active in extracurricular activities. And lastly, the retailers that I will be marketing and selling to will be Target, Staples, and Dick's Sporting Goods. Moving on to the branding, there are various elements that are placed throughout the backpack. One being an embroidered logo on the front towards the bottom of the bag, a sponge silkscreen logo placed on the middle of the padding of the back of the backpack, dye sublimated branded lining material on the inside, a repeated axle pack logo on the rim of the pull tab, and another sponge silkscreen logo on the zipper puller. So lastly, we have the people that I network with, which include Catherine Pearsall, who is an occupational therapy practitioner and professor at Jefferson University. We have the Salvation Army Croc Center, who allowed me to work with multiple children in their homework zone and tween program. And Todd Kramer, who was the principal of Blue Kiwi and designer for the Blue Kiwi diaper backpacks. Thank you.